Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the EV Geek Podcast. I'm your host, Joel, and today we have a super special episode lined up for you. We're turning the spotlight over to one of our youngest and most enthusiastic guests, my son, Ryland, a 10-year-old who's here to share his top picks for electric vehicles. That's right. We're about to dive into the world of electric vehicles through the eyes of a kid who's passionate about all things electric. From the coolest designs to the most fun features, Rylan will be telling us about his favorite electric rides and what makes them so awesome. So buckle up and get ready for a fun field ride as we hear from our youngest expert about the electric vehicles that are making waves and winning hearts. Whether you're a kid or just a kid at heart, you're in for a treat. Let's get started and see what electric rides top Rylan's list. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the podcast today, where we are joined by one of our youngest fans, my son, Rylan. Rylan, how are you doing this evening? Good. I was also your first subscriber. Ah, awesome. My first subscriber. Well, thank you very much. 4,400 later, and Rylan was my first subscriber, so thank you very much. So the reason we have Rylan on our program tonight, on our our podcast tonight, is because he is a huge electric vehicle fan. You may have seen him make little cameo appearances in, in our uh, electric vehicle episodes and podcasts, especially our road tripping one. But he really wanted to get on tonight and talk about his favorite electric be- vehicles. I told Ryan to do some research. He's done some research over the last couple of weeks to come up with his five top EVs. And I kind of told him that he needed to uh, kind of give us a category of why he picked these as his five top EVs. So Rylan, are you ready to get started? Yes. All right. So let's no no particular order. What's number five? The Kia Nero EV. All right. The Kia the Kia Nero EV, one of the one of the first OG electric vehicles that, that was made by Kia. So why did you pick this one? It's affordable. It gets two hundred and fifty three miles estimate, sixty four kilowatt battery, and goes zero to sixty in six point five seconds, which is it's kind of good and kind of bad for a for a and the Nero and mm-hmm. the Nero EV has a low sensor of gravity which contributes to its ha- great handling and fun driving experience. Gotcha. So um this car comes in some weird colors. So what's your favorite color that you've seen in this car? So I know mine. What's yours? Mm. I've stumped them. Have, like you seen, the, have you ever seen the blue? There's there's a really cool blue color out there, so maybe you need to I research that and blue. look at that blue color. It's like the is it like the um the blazer blue? Kind of like the blazer blue. Yes, you're you're blue. the equinox blue. Yes, kind of like that same blue. You are you are correct, smart kid. Okay, so first off, we forgot to tell everyone why did you pick these five cars? What was your reason? What category did you Afford- put these five cars into? Affordable affordability and reliability. Okay, so they're cheap and they'll last you a long time, correct? Mm-hmm. All right, that's what we're hoping. Okay, so first off was the Kira Nero EV. Uh, they also have, I believe, a gas-powered one, too. Yeah, um, What is number four? The Hyundai Kona. Okay, so the Hyundai Kona, which is like the sister car to the, to the Kira Nero, uh, Kia Nero and the Hyundai Group. Why did you pick that one? It's affordable. It gets 261 mm-hmm. miles Estimate depends what version you pick. So if you pick like the really good version, you're gonna get a lot of you're gonna get a lot of miles on that. But if you pick like the low okay. end, you're not gonna get that much. Mm-hmm. It goes zero gotcha, to sixty gotcha. in seven point seven seven seconds, and has the same. I think they're twins because they have the same battery. Gotcha. But one is faster than one can go zero yeah. to sixty a little bit faster. I, I right? have one more thing about it. Okay, sorry. Go on. The base Kona Electric can charge from 10% to full in little over five hours with the uh, 240 volt level two charger. Longer range models take oh, about okay. six hours, but a DC fast charger can charge all Konas from 10 to 80 and 45 minutes. I also have a question about so, the Hyundai Kona. If it goes, sure. so if it takes zero. 10 to 80% in about 45 minutes. Why does it take 10% to full in five hours? Because you're charging with different 
because uh, at home it's not as powerful. You only have 240, you know, watts as compared to the other one. So you're just you don't have as much energy at home as you do charging at a DC fast charger. So okay. it all depends the voltage and energy and things like that. Okay. But you you made a good point there because you know. That, that that that's a Kia, correct? And that charges from I think Hyundai. you said ten to eighty and forty five Hyundai. So it charges from ten to eighty and forty five minutes. If you look at the other Hyundai's, they charge ten to eighty and eighteen minutes. So you know, with cheaper cars, you get slower charging time. Yeah. All right. So uh, next one, what do you have next? Tesla Model Three. Oh, yes. You can't go wrong with the Tesla Model Three. Our first electric vehicle in our house until we switch to the Y. So why did you pick the Model Three? 361 miles estimate, and I, this is it on here, but they just came out with the refresh one, and there's uh-huh. a screen in the back, and plus, you can get the 7,500 tax credit. I think they're starting That's right. it, from 32,000. So, I think, yeah, it may be 32 after the tax credit, so yeah, you're right, correct, yeah. Yeah, and there's, there's a new color. It's like that silver. Is it silver mm-hmm. or blue? They have a silver, they have a silver and a red new color. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's also, yeah, as I was saying, it was affordable. It goes zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds. It has 60 to 82 kilowatt battery. I think that matters on if you pick the long range or like the performance or any of those. Or the standard. Yep, or the right. standard range. Or the old, model, they call it, I'm sorry, the wheel wheel drive now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Model 3 was hmm. the world's best selling plug in electric car from 2018 to 2020. In June 2021, it became the first electric car to sell more than 1 million units globally. Woo! So what car overpassed that? What car surpassed, sorry, oh, surpassed the Model 3? I, I don't know, but probably I can see it being the, um, being I'll give the, you a hint. It, it's, 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 it's really, it's related to the Model 3. And we have one in our driveway right Kia. now. No, it's related to the Model Tesla 3. Model we y. have it in our dr- The Model Y, yes. The Model Y is now outselling the Model 3. You are correct. Very good. Why do you like the screen in the back for? What does it do? It, like, you can we, watch we put, a, we put an Yeah, we put an aftermarket screen in our yeah. Model Y. Um, and we did a review about that a few episodes ago. So why do you like that screen? What does it do? Um, it, like, you can watch Netflix and stuff. But it is a little bit glitchy. Ah, it is, it is so from, the one that we installed is glitchy. It, it, well, it is from China, so. <laughs> that China video All that right. was on there. Yes, that's right. All right, let's move on. Number two, Ryla, number two. The Volvo EX30. All right, so I haven't seen any of these, a lot of these in the United States. Yes, they haven't really started bringing them on over here. But, but why, why this one? Why the Volvo? It's affordable, like all the other ones. It gets 270 mile, 75 mile estimate. It goes zero to 60 in 3.4 to 5.4 seconds. That's actually really good hmm. for. That's not for, bad, yeah, for, yeah, a, not, for a cheap car like that, yep. It's go, it has 51 to 64 kilowatt battery. I think it depends what model you pick. Mm-hmm. Um, the EX30 has a scan. Scandinavian minimalist. Yep, Scandinavian. Yeah, minimalism cabin made with recycle and renewable materials, including woven flax, denim fibers, ground plastic, waste, recycled polyester, and carpet from recycled PET bottles. The trunk lid has a sketch and a trunk space diagram to show what can fit inside. Gotcha. So yeah, so Volvo's really taking the initiative to make sure they're very eco-friendly with with how they make the inside of their cars, which, which is really good. And it's it, it's a really cool looking car. It has kind of that same one screen as the Tesla does. They everything operates off that one center screen. All right, and very good, Rylan. The Volvo is a very intriguing car. And, and now it's time for your last one. What do you have for us as your last the one? The Chevy Equinox. Chevy Equinox. So we've seen a couple of those on dealerships. I haven't seen many on the roads. I'm supposed to get one here in a couple of weeks, hopefully to drive around. So uh, why'd you pick the Equinox? It's affordable. It gets 319 estimate, which is actually like really good for a mm-hmm. cheap car like that. It goes zero mm-hmm. to 60 in 7.5 seconds, which is. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. 
But it, it has the best battery out of all these. It does? It has an 85 kilowatt battery. Yeah. So as a the biggest battery of all of them, it may not be as quite as efficient as the rest of them. So yeah. Yeah. So anything else uh, about okay. that? That also also yeah. has a pretty cool blue color as well. Oh yeah. That like I think yeah. they have that on the blazer too. Mm-hmm. I think the we blazer and the equinox yep. have the same colors. So anything it, else about those five cars, Rylan, you want to share? There's one more thing about the Equinox. Oh, sorry, go on, yes. The Equinox EV comes standard with the 17.7 inch center screen and an 11 inch digital instructor cluster and Google apps like Google Assistant, Google Maps, and Google uh, Google Play. It also has a Chevy safety feature package of driver aids and two LT trim ads even more. The Equinox EV also has one pedal braking, which increases energy re- regeneration when, when slowing down. Gotcha, yeah. So it has that one pedal driving similar like, type like the Tesla has and other similar cars. All right, Ryan, I'm going to ask you one last question here, kind of the top mm-hmm. of my head. Uh, you have unlimited money, unlimited funds, and you could buy one electric vehicle. What would it be? Hmm. Don't think too long. Maxed now. out Model X Plaid. Ooh, maxed out Model X Plaid. So that is a good. That's a good. Full that's a good pick there. Got the, yep, max max it all out. Yep, has the launch Ma- mode and everything, it right? All out. Yep. Good job. Well, Rylan, I want to thank you so much for for hopping on and telling me about your, your top to five say. electric. Oh, okay. Go on. What else do okay. you have to say? So, in my opinion, I think. Hmm. And all of these cars, the Google, I think, I think all these cars, I think the Volvo and the Chevy both are the only cars that have Google apps installed, like mm-hmm. Google apps, like Google Assistant and all that. And I like that better because like, because it can like, you can like do stuff in your car, like Apple, you can't do that. Which oh, okay. I like about Google Play, like you can like download apps and play different stuff, but not like but uh, you only on a Tesla, you can like you can only play games and watch Netflix and go Google Play. You can play like Toy Blast and everything like that. So that's true. Like we can't hop in Mom's Kia in my Model Y and go onto a store and download apps and play yeah. games. You are correct, and that's that is a pretty cool thing. I think that, the browser that, that, that's on us. Yeah, there is a browser there, but it won't let you download and stare stuff. You can play stuff. You can play like online games, but you can't play games and download them onto the actual software itself. Uh, anything else, Rylan, or are we good to go? Um, you did a I good wanna, job tonight. I want to give a shout out to the Kia EV6. It didn't make it on because it has because my because my mom's car had a had a recall. Where we had to fix mm-hmm. all the speakers because the speakers weren't working, and yeah, it was so all around sound. And it, it was yep. only playing the the front two speakers and not yes. the back. Yes, yeah, So we had issues with the amps and with the amplifier in that car. And we had issue with the the twelve volt battery in our car. But other than that, it's been a solid car. So, all right, Rylan, thank you for joining us on the podcast tonight. And as all mm-hmm. and uh, and as always, you can follow the EV Geek on Twitter. At just search at the EV Geek, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. To let you know, uh, so we can let you know when new uh, content is being dropped. Again, thank you, Rylan, and we want to thank you all for joining us today. See you all later.